So George Knapp, we just got a first look at the UFO report. First reactions. First reaction is I imagine that the UFO world is going to be disappointed. Is that all there is? Nine pages after all this time? Uh, I still see it as a really big step. The fact that Congress had the guts to go ahead and authorize the UAP task force. The fact that the UAP task force and the Pentagon went ahead and put together the report, got it submitted by the deadline. We do know there is another report, a larger report that was submitted to the Congressional Investigating Committee's Armed Services and Intelligence that is 10 times the size of what this is, that has classified information in it that, to back up uh, the, the report. Uh, I don't know that we will ever be able to see that, but we've got hints about what might be in it. This report identifies a lot of problems that exist in the reporting process. The fact that pilots are worried about the stigma, so they don't report things that they encounter. The fact that different agencies within the military don't share information. Uh, the fact that some of the sensors that are on our planes and ships are really not designed to deal with this, and that there's no central belly button to collect the information and to analyze it and figure out what these things are. It leaves open a lot of the possibilities that we've mentioned before. Uh, they have a category of other, quote, other, that sort of is a catch-all category that would be probably the most interesting cases that the military's encountered. We know that they looked at 140 plus, 180 uh, incidents dating back to 2004. All the cases prior to that were not analyzed by the task force. They simply don't have the resources for it. We know there were 18 incidents where American military warplanes had near misses uh, that alone, uh, airline safety, air, airplane safety, would seem to justify a continuation of the study. We know that there was sort of a gentle poke in the ribs to the Air Force, saying, hinting that they haven't been able to get much information out of the Air Force uh, as part of this study, but that the Air Force, as of 2020, was setting up a reporting process so they could get the information and get it into the hands of others in the Pentagon. That's a positive step. I, I'm greatly encouraged by this. I think it's a huge step forward for the Pentagon, for the the Congress, for media, and for the public, a step toward a greater understanding of this mystery, and there's a long way to go.